Yes, Lindsay Anderson. Lindsay Anderson was the first director who cast me in a movie. Um, the movie was If. I did three movies with him when he only did a career of five. He was a great, great director. Mainly worked in the theatre in London. He, his movies are the best I'm ever likely to be in. And that includes Cockwork Army. So if a lucky man, Britannia Hospital, it's called the Trilogy, it's sort of my favorite movies I did. And uh, Lindsay was an incredible, enlightened human being. It was like working with an Oxford dog. And I was a young, naive idiot. And, you know, he would berate me and ask me questions and grill me on movies and stuff, which I was totally ignorant. And he would have so much fun at dinner, you know, belittling me, but it was a great way for me to learn. I mean, he'd say things like, of course, Malcolm, you know who Gene Arthur is. And I went, yeah, of course I know him. Not a him, it's a he, her. What the hell are you talking about? You don't know Gene Arthur, one of the great comedians. And then he'd go in and tell me all the movies she made. And then if there was any movies that she was in at the National Film Theater, he'd call me and say, meet me there. I'm going to take you. We'll watch a movie of this. So he gave me a great grounding education in film. And, and what was, why film was an art form. You know, the French were the first, so they claim, to declare that film was an art. The 20th century art form. And um, of course it's an art form. You know, it's also a business, but then so is painting or music or anything else. And, um, so, you know, he taught me what was really brilliant and what was not. And sometimes it's not obvious because sometimes a sentimental movie can move you to tears. But, you know, and he will explain, yeah, that's a cheap way to do it. And, but this is why this film is great. So he, he put in, he taught me the, you know, my mainstay of how I would look and critique a movie.